to be English. English is fun. Let's read. And we're going to review the this later. Let's go. The Philippine Global School. English is fun. Hello, grade two. Today, we are going to have a revision on the topics we had for the fourth term. Reminders. Get your pencil and English portfolio. Listen carefully. Pause the video when you're answering answers only. Be honest. Growth mindset. This is also a growth mindset. For you, the, the expert in anything was once a beginner. Fourth term topics, spelling vocabulary. Spelling vocabulary, adverbs, time, place, and manner, personal pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, preposition of place, making predictions and inferences, interpreting map and pictograph. Duel. Duel is a conflict between two persons or ideas. Gingham. Gingham is a strong cotton cloth that often has a pattern such as chips or stripes. Calico. A woven cotton cloth with a bright printed pattern. Fate. Fate is what happens to a person or thing in the end. Chimney, a hollow, a bright structure above a fireplace or furnace that carries smoke upward and to the outside. Terrible, causing fear, terror, or horror. Spat, a short, slight quarrel. Read this. Vocabulary. Choose the word that best completes the sentence. Bright red blank curtains hang cheerfully at all windows. Is it fate? Duel or gingham? It's gingham. Bright red gingham curtains hang cheerfully at all windows. Spelling. Encircle the word with the correct spelling. Spat. S P A T S P A T E S P A T Spot S P P O T T Spot S P A A T The answer is spot the first one 
S P A T. And position. Next is position. Which P O S E S Y O N. P O S I T I O N. P O S E T I O N. P U S E T I O N. The answer is P O S I T I O N. Position. Next, the next is adverbs. Adverbs of time, place, and manner. An adverb is a word that describes a verb. It tells when, where, or how an action is. When it's time. When yet like time. What time are you going to be there? Or like when are you going to be there? When. Like yesterday, we had we had so much fun. Soon we will go somewhere. Today, today is Sunday. Later is going to be our exam, and tomorrow is the exam for math. I made sentences with all of this of time. That where. Place. Place is where. Like, where are you going to be? Like, which place are you? Or where are you? Here. Here. This is the place. It's here. Inside. We're inside of the house. Up. The bird is up the tree. Below. The. But I'm below the tree. Over. I'm over. Yeah, over. Over. This is all. See. How. How is the is the adverb of manner. Manner. How. How quickly. Do you run? How slowly do you run? How carefully do you skate? How loudly do you shout? How softly can you sing? Next. Read this. Please put your book there. What word in the sentence tells where should you put your book? A. Please. There. B. There. C. Your. It's there. Please put put your book there. There. Like, please put your book there. Then you put your book there. Next. Personal pronouns are words used to refer to the people or subject in the sentence. It may refer also to an object or thing. Singular, I, me, he, him, she, her, you, or it. Plural, them, they, you, me, us. Blue, singular, singular, look, singular is only one person. Plural is is more than more, like them. Then they are playing together. I'm not just teaching you. I'm teaching. I'm teaching myself also. 
Nah. Replace the underlined noun in the sentence. Khalid and Ahmed are playing together. He, it, or they? It's they. They because it's two people. If it's he, it's only one, like Khalid or just Ahmed. Ahmed is, is going to be is playing to is playing there's no to get or is or uh but since it's um do it's end or just they are playing together demonstrative pronouns are words that point to specific things it shows the relationship between the person speaking and the object. Hmm? See? This is near and it's only one apple. Like, this is an apple. That is far. And it's only one. That is an apple. These. These is near. And there's a lot. These are apples. And there's only, there's no S. You see? No S in the one that is only singular. This two is singular. This and that. But these and those are plural. There's a lot. And there's also S in the end. These are apples. Th those is also far. This is far and this is far, but only one. Those are apples. They put those because it's far. Like this. Those are papers. Next. Choose this, that, these, those to complete the sentence. Look, that is a falling star. It's that because it's one and it's far. Again. Preposition. Preposition. A preposition is a word or phrase that describes a relationship between its object and another word or a group of words in a sentence. Prepositions give information such as direction, time, and place. position of place the dog is behind the man the dog is here and the man is there standing and the dog is behind the dog the dogs are behind the postman it's a postman and that is another dog The dog is in front of the man. That is the man that is walking the dog. But the dog went too fast a little. And the, the, the man is over there. And he is in front. That's why it's called in front of. The dog is the next. Is next to the bones. The dog is beside the bones. It can be next to or beside. The, the bone is between the two dogs. This is the bone. This is a dog and another dog. Between. And it's called between. The dog is near the book. 
the dog is close to the book. It can be near or close to. Close to is the same thing as near. Because I am near the paper. See, I am near the paper. The paper is going to be here. I am near the paper. I am close to the paper. The blue dog is above the fire. Fire dragon. The blue dog is over the fire. Okay. It's above or over. It can be above or over. The fire hydrant is below the blue dog. The fire hydrant is under the blue dog. It can be below or under. Like, like, the paper, I am above the paper, the, below the paper, and I am over the paper. Okay. What were we? It's here. Under or below. Under or below. The dog is in the bed. The, there is thermometer in its mouth. In. In. Like me. I'm in here. Next. The dog is on the table. The woman has a dog Salivia on her table. On her. On. 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 Next. Underline the proposition of place in the sentence. Preposition. I stand behind the door when mother looked them. Guess which one? Okay, if you don't know, just if, if you want to answer, pause the video. Okay. The answer is behind because See, look, behind, but it's a door. Next. Prediction, you, predictions. Using what you know from the text make, to make a good guess at what? will or could happen next we predict what will happen next i think he will i predict she's going to next i think they are inferences using information in the text and what you know to figure out something about the text that you that the author didn't tell you we infer feelings why things happen what where characters are what is happening next next here Oda and Mariam were playing under the tree. Under, see? It's a position of place. The tree, they saw a long green snake. The snake made a hissing sound as it moved its head. Can you predict what will happen next? The snake went to sleep, which is A. 
the snake went to sleep, the girls ran away, or the snake went back to the tree. Guess. Again, the snake went to the went to sleep, the girls ran away, the snake go back to the tree. Okay, the answer is the girls ran away. Using inferences, who is the person in the passage? I often work in the early morning when the light is best. The canvas, ha the canvas has a hard time to dry overnight. When I, s when I start, I make sure all of my brushes are clean. It is an art. Is it an artist, an actor, or an archaeologist? Yes, you can pause the video. Okay, the answer is correct. It's an artist, an artist, because there's brushes, it's brushes, and canvas. The canvas, you use the brushes to paint with the canvas. You get the canvas so you can get the brush to dip in the paint. And then you spread it, then it's a painting. You can make a lot of design. Now it's interpreting map. Interpreting map. A map is a repres representation, usually on a flat surface of a whole or a part of an area. This is with nor north, south, and east, west. If you are on the seesaw, the seesaw, this is a swing. Seesaw, and look east, what would you see? The slide sandbox or flower garden. This is the flower garden. This is the flower garden. This is the sandbox. And this is the slide. North, south, east, or west. Yes. And the answer is slide. See, this is the swing. And the flower, and the flower garden, and the sandbox, and the slide. You would look east, it's the slide. The slide. Next, we're going to have a pictograph. Interpreting pictograph now. We're not going to interpret m maps. It's pictograph. Pictograph. All pictographs have labels to let you know what is section stands for. Hmm? Rachel and Sydney and Destiny. Each, each Ice cream is three. One, one each ice cream. Equal, three ice cream cones. One ice cream means three ice cream cones. Like this one. It's two. And it's going to be one. It's going to be three. And three. It's going to be six. All pictographs always have a title. Number of ice cream cones sold. All 
pictographs have a key to let you know what each picture stands for. A pictograph uses pictures to show the data collected. Data, facts, figures, or other pieces of information that can be used to learn about something. Jam bottles. Jam bottles export. This is means half and also this see half. Teddy's food factory exported bottles of jam. The, the pictograph shows the number of bottles export each day. Use information from the graph to answer the question. Which of the two days did they export fewer bottles of jam? Tuesday and Thursday, Monday and Friday, or Wednesday and Thursday? See, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and a half. This one, one, two, three, four, there's only four. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot in this. And Friday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot. And this one, one, two, three, four, five and a half. It's the other half of this. Or they continue. This one. It's which one? I know that, sir. And what is your answer for you? The choices are here. Okay, the answer is A, Tuesday and Thursday, because they're getting fewer bottles of jam. See? Verbal reasoning. A word analogy compares two things that are mostly different from each other but have some traits in common by showing a con connection between two different things. Example, hunger stands for food and as thirst. Thirst stands for beverage. If there is code for re, which word has the code for keeps? Spell, keep, speak, or spent the answer is b speak c s s p p e e a a and k and there's also The first term topics are done. We're done with spelling vocabularies. We're done with adverbs, time, place, and manner. We're done with personal pronouns. We're done with demonstrative pronouns. We're done with preposition of place. And we're done with making predictions and inferences. And we're done with interpreting map and pictograph. Think good that's something good job to be proud of. That's something to be proud of. Thank you. Believe in yourself and you can achieve anything. Good luck on your exams. It's my exam. And then it that is English. 
with you. That's all for today. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless. Stay safe. Bye.